Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. At this here, we have n raised to power x times n raised to power 1 equals to 24 on this side. The next step here. This same thing as n raised to power x times n raised to power 1 that's 9 equals to 24 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 9. That is, divide this side by 9. Also, divide this side by 9. That is, here, 9 cancelled each other. We have 9 raised to power x left, which is equal to 24 over 9. And next step here, we can write this as 9 raised to power x equals to 3 times 8 over 3 times 3. Which implies here, 3 cancel each other. And we have 9 raised to power x left, which is equals to 8 over 3 here. Then, we take the log on both sides. That is here we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 8 over 3. The next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 9 equals to log 8 over 3. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies here log 9 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 8 over 3 divided by log 9. The next step here, this follows the log logarithm when we have log a over b which is the same thing as log a minus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 minus log 3 over log 9 then next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 9 minus log 3 over log 9. That is here, we can as well express 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cube, and 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 2 cube over log 3 squared minus log 3 over log 3 squared. And next step here, we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes here, 2 comes here also, 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 3 log 2 over 2 log 3 minus log 3 over 2 log 3. Then, next step here, log 3 cancelled each other here. We have 1 over 2 left. And also here we have x equals 2. We can write this as 3 over 2 times log 2 over log 3, then minus 1 over 2 here. And when we apply change of this here, from when we have log a, over log b, which can be written as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 over 2 log 2 to base 3 then minus 1 over 2. And here also we can bring this together as one fraction. At this we have x equals to SMA as 2 
then here we mean 3 log 2 base 3 then minus 1 here that is the value of x in this problem we have 3 log 2 base 3 minus 1 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 log 2 base 3 minus 1 all over 2 then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 3 log 2 is 3 minus 1 all over 2 then we have plus 1 here is equals to 24 on this side then here we can bring this part together as one well. this is 1 over 1 and we have 9 raised to power SM up here that's 2 and this becomes 3 log 2 is 3 minus 1 then here we have plus 2 is it equals to 24 on this side that is yeah 2 minus 1 that's 1 we have 9 raised to power 1 and plus 3 log 2 is 3 all over 2 is it equals to 24 on this side then yeah we can express 9 as 3 squared which is raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 24 on this side then here this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other we have 3 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 base 3 is equals to 24 on this side then we apply the law of indices here a raised to power n plus n same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n that is this becomes 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 3 log 2 is 3 is it equals to 24 on this side and 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 then times 3 raised to power we reverse this 3 from power law and this becomes log 2 raised to power 3 is 2 is 3 is equals to 24 on this side that is we have 3 times 3 raised to power log 2 raised to power 3 that's 8 is 3 is equals to 24 on this side and this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we have 8 3 times 8 is it equals to 24 here? Yeah. Of course, 3 times 8 that's 24 is equals to 24 on this side. Then left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore we conclude that x equals to 3 log 2 base 3 minus 1 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.